Now, here's your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. All right, a lot of fun stuff. Now, Saturday still appears to be the pick day this weekend. That's not to say that you can't get out on Sunday and do stuff, though. Sunday does feature some clouds and uh, let's say a couple of light showers and sprinkles. We, we just don't see any stormy weather or downpours, thunder, all that nonsense on Sunday, but it can't rule out a shower. All right, looking good in Newport. It really got skies are clear all around. Temps in the 50s, not as cold as last night. In fact, early this morning, it started off in the 30s in many areas, though New Bedford is down to 48 while Taunton's at 57 still of Providence 54, Coventry cooler 52, uh, low 50s along the South Shore. Upper 40s to around 50 should do it for the low temp overnight and towards early in the morning. So we'll call it cool rather than cold, but uh, at least the skies are dry. Gorgeous, beautiful on Saturday. Sunshine, best day of the weekend, uh, dry, a little warmer temperatures for a couple of hours approaching the lower 70s. Then changes start Sunday and continue into Columbus Day Monday. Extra clouds cooler on Sunday. A few either light showers or sprinkles. The timing appears to be probably later in the afternoon towards evening. And again, this is not downpour or stormy weather. So while it's not perfect, I think there's opportunities to get out and enjoy some of the uh, the activities going on this weekend, though Saturday clearly would be the better day. Now we do anticipate some rain to be spilling over into Monday morning and then things drying out Monday afternoon. So nice and quiet, at least in third of the country, courtesy of uh, high pressure uh, that is building in. So what we're tracking is a, a cold front off to our west. So when we take this into the future, and watch we'll have a front come through tomorrow but it doesn't produce any precipitation so here we are tomorrow morning sunshine by 8 a.m it's already upper 50s to low 60s it is just beautiful our own little corner of the world here in new england look at the sunshine temperatures upper 60s to low 70s taking it to saturday evening saturday night of course these activities are still going on in the early evening so your saturday night is fine cool and dry then take note of clouds and some moisture across the great lakes as we move ahead into sunday it's clouding up you don't see a lot of green indicating like heavy rain, but as we get towards the afternoon, an isolated shower, a few sprinkles can't be ruled out. It's a cloudy and cooler day, but by no means is it a soaker or is it stormy. I think the better chance would come on Sunday night. And then as this cold front approaches on Monday morning, the rain is a bit heavier, more generous. So we'll go with rain uh, Monday morning, Columbus Day Monday, and then notice the drier air behind during the afternoon. So the second half of the day on Monday, the afternoon and evening, Things will be drying out. We'll probably end the day with a bit of sun by later Monday afternoon. Tomorrow morning's beautiful. Cool start, 11 a.m., 67. And then during the afternoon, just beautiful. Upper 60s to low 70s with a, a good deal of sunshine. A little breezy. If there's only one little downside with tomorrow, it's it, kind of a gusty breeze, so a small craft advisory, but otherwise a very nice day. Extra clouds, cooler Sunday. A couple of either light showers or sprinkles, mainly late day, early evening. Some rain Sunday night into Monday morning. Drier Monday afternoon with temperatures on Monday between 60 and 65. Kind of chilly next week, but at least it's dry. Saturday, um, Get up early. <laughs> Do not stay in the house. Get out. It looks really good. Yeah, and a lot of folks I've been seeing on different Facebook groups wondering where can I go and see some Halloween displays? It's going to be I know a, of a great website. Great website, WPRI.com. Go check it out. Tomorrow's going to be a great night for that. Yeah. All right, Tony, thank you. Coming up next in